sought to night and day these gloomy weeks, and I believe that your calling was beheaded. And why, if I knew to be married to him this afternoon? Alas, yes. What, do you not love him? Alas, no. Modified rapture. <laughs> <laughs> but why do you not betray him? What good would that do? He's my guardian, and he wouldn't let me marry you. But I would wait and see your other age. You forget that in Japan, girls do not arrive at years of discretion until they are 50. True. From 17 to 49, I consider years of indiscretion. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, a wandering minstrel who plays wind instruments outside tea houses is hardly a fitting husband for the war of a low high executioner. But, shall I tell her? Do it. <laughs> yes! <laughs> she will not betray me. What if it should prove that, after all, I am no musician? <laughs> there, I was certain of it. Directly, I heard you play. <laughs> <laughs> what if it should prove that, after all, I am none other than the son of His Majesty, the Potter? Son of the Potter? I had the misfortune to captivate Katisha, an elderly woman of my father's court. She misconstrued my customary affability for signs of affection and claimed my hand in merit. My father, the junior Lucius Brutus of his race, ordered me to be married within a week or to perish ignominiously at the scaffold. That night, I fled my father's court and, disguised as a second trombone, joined the band in which you found me, <laughs> in which I have the happiness of seeing you. If you please, your highness, better not come too near. The laws against flirting are excessively severe. But we are quite alone, and nobody can see us. Still, that doesn't make it right. <laughs> to flirt is capital. It is capital. <laughs> and we must obey the law. Oh, do take the law. I wish it were. But it won't. If it weren't for the law, how happy we might be. Happy indeed. We should be sitting side by side. Like that. Instead of being obliged to sit a half a mile off. Like that. We should be gazing into each other's eyes.